Hello and welcome to this video lecture. In this video, we will be talking about the relationship between functions and inequalities. Look at these graphs of functions for when a is greater than 0 and when a is smaller than 0. When a is greater than 0. When a is smaller than 0. As we can see from the graphs above, the functions behave differently when a is greater than 0 from when a is smaller than 0. This is very important because this is the basis of inequality. Inequality is inherently related to functions. Case 1. y equals a times x plus b. a is greater than 0. When a is positive, the linear equation will result in a line increasing as we move rightwards. A is smaller than 0. When A is negative, the linear equation will result in a line decreasing as we move rightwards. Case 2. Y equals A times X squared plus B times X plus C. A is greater than 0. When A is positive, the parabolic equation will result in a U, a parabola opening upward. A is smaller than 0. When A is negative, the parabolic equation will result in a n, a parabola opening downwards. Case 3. Y equals A times X cubed plus B times X squared plus C times X plus D. A is greater than 0. When A is positive, the equation will result in a zigzag starting from downwards to upwards. A is smaller than 0. When A is negative, the equation will result in a zigzag starting from upwards to downwards. You should remember that the end of the graph always goes up if A is greater than 0 and goes down if A is smaller than 0. For example, let us check two examples of a quadratic function with A is greater than 0 when the function is positive and when the function is negative. First, let us make observations on the function. y equals a times x squared plus b times x plus c equals x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 means a equals 1 which is greater than 0. y equals x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 equals all of x minus 1 times all of x minus 2, means that x is 1 and 2 when y equals 0. Now the above relation means a equals 1 and, since a equals 1 which is greater than 0, the parabola will open upwards. Also, the parabola will intersect the x-axis at 1 and 2. Case 1. x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 is smaller than 0. We're looking for x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 is smaller than 0, which can be factorized as all of x minus 1 times all of x minus 2 is smaller than 0. All of x minus 1 times all of x minus 2 is smaller than 0 means that the factors x minus 1 and x minus 2 do not have the same sign. That is, x minus 1 is smaller than 0 and x minus 2 is greater than 0 or x minus 1 is greater than 0 and x minus 2 is smaller than 0. Which means x is smaller than 1 and x is greater than 2 or x is greater than 1 and x is smaller than 2 x is smaller than 1 and x is greater than 2 is empty because there is no number less than 1 that is greater than 2. x is greater than 1 or 1 is smaller than x and x is smaller than 2 or 1 is smaller than x which is smaller than 2 by the first fundamental concept in inequality. Therefore, the range of x becomes 1 is smaller than x which is smaller than 2 which means between, as shown by the figure above. Case 2. 
x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 is greater than 0. We are looking for x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 is greater than 0, which can be factorized as whole of x minus 1 times whole of x minus 2 is greater than 0. Whole of x minus 1 times whole of x minus 2 is greater than 0 means that the factors x minus 1 and x minus 2 have the same sign. That is, x minus 1 is greater than 0 when x minus 2 is greater than 0, or x minus 1 is smaller than 0 and x minus 2 is smaller than 0, which means x is greater than 1 and x is greater than 2, or x is smaller than 1 and x is smaller than 2. x is greater than 1 and x is greater than 2 means x is greater than 2. Also, x is smaller than 1 and x is smaller than 2 means x is smaller than 1. Therefore, the range of x becomes x is smaller than 1 or x is greater than 2, which means LLGG, less than less, greater than greater, as shown by the figure above. Remember that a quadratic inequality is always either between or LLGG. Another example. Let us check two examples of a quadratic function with a is smaller than zero when the function is positive and when the function is negative. First, let us make observations on the function. y equals a times x squared plus b times x plus c equals negative x squared plus 3 times x minus 2 means a equals negative 1 which is smaller than 0. y equals negative x squared plus 3 times x minus 2 equals negative whole of x minus 1 times whole of x minus 2 means that x is 1 and 2 when y is 0. Now the above relation means a equals negative 1 and since a equals negative 1 which is smaller than 0, the parabola will open downwards. Also, the parabola will intersect the x-axis at 1 and 2. Case 1. Negative x squared plus 3 times x minus 2 is smaller than 0. We are looking for negative x squared plus 3 times x minus 2 is smaller than 0 which can be factorized as whole of 1 minus x times whole of x minus 2 is smaller than 0. Whole of 1 minus x times whole of x minus 2 is smaller than 0 means that the factors 1 minus x and x minus 2 do not have the same sign. That is, 1 minus x is smaller than 0 and x minus 2 is greater than 0 or 1 minus x is greater than 0, or x minus 2 is smaller than 0. Which means 1 is smaller than x, and x is greater than 2, or 1 is greater than x, and x is smaller than 2. 1 is smaller than x, and x is greater than 2 means x is greater than 2. Also, 1 is greater than x, and x is smaller than 2 means x is smaller than 1. Therefore, the range of x becomes x is smaller than 1 or x is greater than 2, which means LLGG, less than less, greater than greater, as shown by the figure above. Case 2. Negative x squared plus 3 times x minus 2 is greater than 0. We are looking for negative x squared plus 3 times x minus 2 is greater than 0, which can be factorized as whole of 1 minus x times whole of x minus 2 is greater than 0. Whole of 1 minus x times whole of x minus 2 is greater than 0 means that the factors 1 minus x and x minus 2 have the same sign. That is, 1 minus x is greater than 0 and x minus 2 is greater than 0, or 
1 minus x is smaller than 0, or x minus 2 is smaller than 0, which means 1 is greater than x and x is greater than 2, or 1 is smaller than x and x is smaller than 2. 1 is greater than x and x is greater than 2 is empty because there is no number less than 1 that is greater than 2. 1 is smaller than x and x is smaller than 2 means 1 is smaller than x which is smaller than 2 by the first fundamental concept in inequality. Therefore, the range of x becomes 1 is smaller than x which is smaller than 2 which means between as shown by the figure above.